This is the Music History Today podcast for July 27th. On today's show, Purple Rain premieres, Madonna debuts, and Bruce sues. First up, though, on this date in 1940, the first Billboard Singles Chart premiered. The first number one song on that chart was Tommy Dorsey's I'll Never Smile Again. In 1941, entertainer Judy Garland married musician David Rose. In 1942, Peggy Lee recorded the song Why Don't You Do Right. In 1970, Sly and the Family Stone did not appear for their free concert in Grant Park in Chicago, Illinois, due to the crowd already being unruly. The crowd, of course, then rioted. In 1976, Bruce Springsteen sued his former manager for fraud, which kept him from recording for over a year. The case was finally settled out of court. In 1976, same day, John Lennon received his green card to stay in the United States and Tina Turner filed for divorce from Ike Turner. In 1983, Metallica started their Kill 'Em All tour. In 1984, the film Purple Rain premiered in movie theaters. We discussed this along with another upcoming event on this day on our Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped by the time you're hearing this now. It is on our network. Please like and subscribe. It's a really good episode. We also have the death of Sinead O'Connor on there as well. In 1986, Nancy Wilson of Heart married Cameron Crowe, who wrote the screenplays to the movies Almost Famous and Singles. Also in 1986, a man trying to impress a woman stabbed himself repeatedly with a hunting knife at a Cure concert. The man survived. No word on whether he got with the woman. In 1991, Janie Lane of Warrant married model Bobby Brown, who was in their Cherry Pie video. In 1992, Michael Jackson sued the Daily Mirror for slander after they published a story about his having had destructive plastic surgery on his face. In 1995, Eddie Floyd's 1957 hit song Knock on Wood was certified gold. In 2006, the file sharing service Kazaa paid record labels $115 million to, that is, to settle piracy lawsuits against it. And in 2012, the group Fifth Harmony was formed and the dance music movie Step Up Revolution was released in movie theaters. In theater in 1957, the St. James Theater in London was closed. And in 1982, the musical Little Shop of Horrors premiered off-Broadway at the Orpheum Theater in New York City. And in 1997, the musicals Candide and Victor Victoria both closed on Broadway. Albums that were released on July 27th include in 1969 when Pink Floyd released the soundtrack to the movie More. In 1972, The Temptations released All Directions. In 1973, Genesis released Genesis Live. Sweet released their self-titled album and the New York Dolls released their self-titled album. In 1977, The Grateful Dead released Terrapin Station. In 1979, John Mellencamp, then known as John Cougar, released the John Cougar album. Also in 1979, ACDC released Highway to Hell, another classic album from them. In 1981, Stevie Nicks released Belladonna. In 1983, Madonna released her self-titled album, That is the other July 27th event that we talk about on the same Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this network. Also in 1983, Neil Young and the Shocking Pinks released Everybody's Rocking. In 1984, Mark Knopfler released the soundtrack to Comfort and Joy. Metallica released Ride the Lightning. In 1987, 10,000 Maniacs released In My Tribe and Triumph released Surveillance. In 1989, The Bodines released Home. In 1990, Jellyfish released Belly Button. In 1992, Sloan released Peppermint. In 1993, The Smashing Pumpkins released Siamese Dream. And Bachman Turner Overdrive released All the Greatest Hits Live. In 1998, Dying Fetus released Killing on Adrenaline. In 1999, At the Drive-In released Via, Nick Lowe released The Doings, and Eric Clapton released Blues. 
In 2004, the Scissor Sisters released their self-titled album, Pearl Jam released live at Benaroya Hall, and 38 Special released Drivetrain. In 2009, Bob Dylan released Bob Dylan The Collection. In 2010, Ringo Starr released Ringo Starr Live at the Greek Theater 2008. And in 2018, Bob Skaggs released Out of the Blues. Singles that were released in the UK on July 27th include in 1981 when the Human League released Love Action. Meanwhile, in America in 1959, The Miracles released Bad Girl. In 1968, The Who released Magic Bus. In 1974, The Rolling Stones released It's Only Rock and Roll, But I Like It. And in 1987, Rick Astley released his classic song, Never Gonna Give You Up. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 27th include rapper Tory Lanez, singer Juliana Hatfield of the Blake Babies, Carl Mueller of Soul Asylum, Mick Vaughn of Paper Lace, singer and actress Maureen McGovern, Andy McMaster of The Motors, singer Bobby Gentry, rapper Young Dolph, singer George Shelley, producer Y2K, singer Smiley, Nick Reynolds of the Kingston Trio, Harvey Fuqua of The Moon Glows, Bob Morris of The High Lobes, producer and songwriter Bob Thiel, Homer Hames of Homer and Jethro, David Muse of Firefall, Rex Brown of Pantera, Abe Cunningham of the Deftones, singer Pete Yorn, drummer Andy White, who played on the Beatles song Love Me Do, Mark Stanway of Magnum, Bobby Rondinelli of Rainbow, and also of Black Sabbath, Conway Savage of Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Cheyenne Kimball of Gloriana, Fred Mascherino of Taking Back Sunday, Rapper Candy Ken, saxophonist and flute player Barbara Thompson, guitarist Deirdre Cartwright, saxophonist Jean Toussaint, and pianist and composer Einar Everson. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 27th include composer Johann Samuel Welter, who passed away in 1720 at the age of 69. Composer William Hayes passed away in 1777 at the age of 69. Composer Johann Philipp Kernberger passed away in 1783 at the age of 62. Composer Johann Loeb passed away in 1881 at the age of 84. Composer Albert Doppler passed away in 1883 at the age of 61. Composer Ferruccio Bassoni passed away in 1924 at the age of 58. Composer Francesco Pretrino passed away in 1948 at the age of 91. Composer Theodore Chandler passed away in 1961 at the age of 59. Conductor Bernard Palmgartner passed away in 1971 at the age of 83. Blues great Lightning Slim passed away from cancer in 1974 at the age of 64. Conductor Wilhelm Van Otterloo passed away in 1978 at the age of 70. The orchestra leader for The Tonight Show from 1956 to 1957, Leroy Holmes, passed away in 1986 at the age of 72. Singer Bobby Day passed away from cancer in 1990 at the age of 58. Harpist Tatiana Tower passed away in 1994 at the age of 48. Gospel singer-songwriter Doris May Akers of the group Sky Pilot Choir passed away in 1995 at the age of 72. 
Ben-Hur film composer Miklos Rosa passed away in 1995 at the age of 88. Jazz trumpet player Sweet Edison passed away in 1999 at the age of 84. Leon Wilkeson of Leonard Skinner passed away in 2001 at the age of 49. Saxophonist Harold Land passed away in 2001 at the age of 72. Conductor Horst Stein passed away in 2008 at the age of 80. Jazz pianist George Russell passed away from complications from Alzheimer's disease in 2009 at the age of 86. Singer Tony Martin passed away in 2012 at the age of 98. Rapper Kim Dong Yoon passed away in 2018 at the age of 20. Singer Carlos Cruz Diaz passed away in 2019 at the age of 95. Denise Johnson of Primal Scream passed away in 2020 at the age of 56. Musician and actor Saginaw Grant passed away in 2021 at the age of 85. And singer Willie Winfield of the Harp Tones passed away in 2021 at the age of 91. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 28th when in 1992... Mary J. Blige makes her debut. Thank you very, very much for listening if you're listening on the podcast or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcast from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jamaritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching.